Okay, so welcome back, guys. Welcome to the Dumber Games 2022 Valorant Champions. I am V, your caster for today, and I have here with me Vanj. So right now, the match is in the lower brackets, round six between Kursi Bacho and W Gang. With Kursi Bacho on the attack and W Gang on the defense. The map here is Haven. And we've seen both the teams play astronomically well in our previous rounds. So about with each other, Kosei Kelsa, but they in for now. Over to you, Bunch. Yes, yes, yes. If you guys see the tie sheets previously, Kushi Hachi has spent quite some time here at the bottom uh, lower brackets here. Although they have been opening pretty in a pretty good fashion, they had a 2 0 win against Top G and moving on had a 2 1 against Stella Esports. So they're coming in and they beat Friendly Fire as well. And now facing on W Gang, who had a match yesterday, to be honest, against Five Panda. But yeah, they lost to that 2 1 pretty close match at the very end. But uh, yeah, due to some FKA technicals, then they could not be at their top level. So now they are here against Kursi Vacho. And yeah, if you see the agent Choose selects right agent. now, we already have the defenders picking a cha uh, We already have Sova. We have Mr. Right now with that Omen. We have a Phoenix, uh, KJ and Alpha taking the breach and for the other side we have pyro taking the ohm and kim luja almost locking the chamber in yeah zodi with the sova chisato with the phoenix and dexter with that sage so pretty different comps for both sides they have sentinels there on the kj and the sage but nonetheless it is pretty different we might see a different kind of a hold here from the kj on c side but most probably a sage wall from dexter on the B-bomb side. Let's see if they use it for post -manager. But nonetheless, we have a Phoenix always exciting in this match. Make sure you share this stream with your friends, guys. Make sure you share the support. Give us a lot of support here. Make sure you spam the comments to show support to the teams that you're uh, supporting in this map. It's W Gang versus Kursi Vacho. And yeah, let's get started. I think this will be a pretty interesting match with both the teams being very nice. Of course, they're in lower brackets, but doesn't mean that lower brackets not are really good at all. They've been uh, very good in their matches by the Ani Bunchi, especially mm, with the W Gang Bunny. They have they were in the top, upper brackets all summer, and now they're in the lower brackets. But they're probably wanting to go Mati Mati Agani in advance up once again into the upper brackets. So now they are no more saying, of course, if they lock Siki W Gang, W Gang will come out on top for this match. True, true, true. Like, uh, Kursi Vacha has been here in the lower bracket for quite some time. So I think the pressure yeah. situation is pretty well handled from their side. And yeah, W Gang, they were previously, until yesterday, they were in the top. Uh, but yeah, now they are in the lower brackets. And hey, that is the situation. We will be seeing a good fight. It looks like it's a full cool push here. Yeah, the wall splitting it up. The breach here flashing already. Two people on B back side. But yeah, the swamp grenades being kind of a hassle there not getting the pop line and we already have a flank here from UK wrapping all the way around at A and ooh Daiki pushing from garage but not get the kill but ooh Rezi could not Rezi could not capitalize on his flank and now it looks like a split towards garage but yeah the KJ is still there hiding quietly with her turret and yeah so again contemplating their different routes here we have two players pretty low here on the side of attackers but i think the phoenix might heal himself pretty soon and the sage as well will be getting a heal on the way yeah well phoenix and are very annoying in the sense that they can like shoot at you from a way far point so they are like that very iron spike planted so they're like your iron teammate who's gonna be there to uh, provide some info on you so right now what we see is the spike has been planted on a uh, with four players on the attackers and three on the defense side so pretty good on um, the post plant here but i think uh, w gang will maybe one enemy remaining. Ooh, Last player we standing. A, oh, we have the Sentinel on Sentinel Ood turret coming out, but oh, and still has and Dexter getting it there. A win here for the attackers, and I would say it's a very laborious win to be honest. Uh, with yeah. They were contemplating going B. The swarm grenades pushed them away. They even invested the wall there on the B side, but yeah, they had a very good flank. The defenders had really good flank all the way from A from the side of B. But could not capitalize on that. And yeah, they were going back and forth, maybe pushing garage, but the turret stopped them and later committing to A. And we did see a bit of a hard take there. Uh the sage was pretty low. The turret could have taken quite some damage here, but nonetheless, yeah, caught off guard and the kill coming on for Dexter giving the attack. Standing ahead. How about saying it was like they're not over a full burn, but it 
which this was just to be like something like this really but it was for a quick reroute through the other side. That's probably a good idea in their case. Either there looks like they're pretty injected in this side. I almost tally for them, but uh um double again is on the if you have spectres in hand, if you have, uh, let's say, yeah, lo uh, guns that don't really do good on long range, I think it's better to really put the heart on that TV turret, but One enemy very remains. very annoying and, yeah, loser taking three kills here in this round with spectres. Yeah, I wouldn't say too much of an accomplishment considering that they did not really buy their own defense, but, yeah, there's two rounds here on the board and now we will be expecting a full buy there from the side of the defenders and, yeah, most probably a bonus for the side of the attack. Pretty inter yeah. interesting match that has been going on yeah. right now. We would have expected Double Gang to, like, you know, be um, bigger threat. I mean, they are a threat to Kursi Pachir at the moment. But uh, Kursi Pachir has been able to, like, capitalize on everything, you know. They've been able to make smart decisions going into site and post Time out. Out. Something like that, okay? So yeah. it's going in into their advantage at the moment. But I, I really like the KG pick, to be very honest mm, with yeah. you, on Haven. Because the B bomb side, to be honest, if they go for a really quick push there at B, it's gonna be locked out with the swamp grenade. So just like we saw them wasting that wall, and again we have swamp grenade there as well. And yeah, we do some damage here on Chisan. Salvo sends this and gets the kill as well. They get the kill on Luza and already a three D five, and he's already healing up with his hot hand. And ooh, I love getting a spam on Zodi. That is unlucky through the smoke of his own teammate, and that is gonna hurt. But yeah, still a bonus round. Not too much to worry about. For the side of Kursi Vacha, we just have Pyro as Pyro left as well as Dexter. Let's see what they can Last do. Last player standing. And not much from the side of Dexter. Yeah, Pyro with that Bulldog. Full shield. Maybe even dealing with economic damage. Let's see. But in a 1v5 situation, that seems kind of <laughs> unlikely here. He is in a very bad situation, especially with almost everyone from the defense having full health. Pyro is... <laughs> I don't know. He might Honestly. go for the save, but uh, we'll see. 30 seconds left. Right. Exactly. With 2300 in the bank, I think it's better yeah. if you just take some damage. Could get a lot of the day, yeah. And yeah. it's better inflicting more economic damage. Because if you see uh, the uh, the agents that they have on the blue gang, they don't have a weapon going out. They are a shield. So their ultimate cannot be used like a secondary weapon if they need it. There's more utility right there, but ooh, another kill for Pyro, another kill. This is turning out expensive for the gang, and yeah. So when you said that, the 1v5 one one isn't possible, he was trying to prove me wrong again. Exactly, like, uh, he almost had it funny. Like, Breeze was in the smoke, he was not in the line of sight. And he, uh, if he had killed Daiki, Serva there at the moment, he might have a, a second had a win. chance there. Let your to, senses like, come alive. Him, but, well. 1v5, 1v5, got it. But he was able to do so much with the Bulldog, so that's an accomplishment itself. Uh, yeah, I would say. I, and I'm really liking how they used uh, Sage. I think a Sage would be a really good counter for a little bit of the chip damage that the turret is initially gonna give. So I think that Sage heal is gonna come in handy here and there. But we have seen the KJ being really annoying in the previous round and the first round as well. Standing the ahead. Is they are stuck there at B main. They are not letting go. So I think B isn't gonna be a priority here for the guys at Kursi Vacho. And yeah, it looks like they're splitting in. Ooh, we can see Rijay slipping into that gap there, not using his flash right away because yeah the long specters won't be doing so much damage long range so i think he'll be playing the closer battle and if you see the mini map right there we see a little bit of a push coming in from the omen on the defense yeah tucking into cubby mr right now getting in quietly there Ooh. and emperor getting the first skill there it at b window getting that first kill through garage i think and went back here so it's an advantage for the defense maybe trying to equalize it very early not get giving an early lead to kursi vacho and yeah as we move on i don't think zodi will be checking this Ooh, and yeah rize gets that what kill he already has his ult ready as well so that's very important for the retake here but really Another kill. Oh, wow three kills for him with just a specter man that is one value by if you have to tell me and yeah dexter with the bomb tucking into a long that's really well. 30 seconds left. yeah he did manage to do that but then again it was a very disadvantage 
disadvantageous situation he was in. So he had advantage here. So. True, true. I, especially in this, uh, in the third round when it was so costly for the side of defense, because uh, he got the three K one with that bulldog two with that vandal, and even getting that bomb plant, there was quite a bit of a economic pressure for the side of defense. But yeah, they pulled it through with the heroics there from Rize with a specter at A long, getting those kills in. And now if you see, they have enough utility for retakes right now. They have the breach ult ready. They have you want the to play? Ready. Let's play. And yeah, the ult team popped off from Kursi. See Vachio's chamber on, and yeah, go. looks like a push here at A, but ooh, Rize popping the ult early, trying to stop it, and we see two guys coming in. Ooh, Dexter getting killed with the frenzy, and Rize has a bit of information, but he just wants to see how many players were there, so could be a split back, but ooh, the paranoia being invested now. Looks like an A push, but a uh, very well placed lockdown there from the KD, pushing all the players back from Kursivachu. They can't do anything yeah. nor wall bang that lock. Lockdown is a very big hassle for the players. Like, literally, if you're in the um, in the field, why, if it goes off, then you're stuck there and you, you're immobilized there. So basically, it's a very difficult hassle. Like, people usually have no choice what to retreat. We have Rizde here with one kill, making the uh, making the situation into a 4v4 at the moment. Joke's it over! Looks You're like dead! Gotcha is committing to a. Uh, there's not many people in a, so they'll probably get to a. Spike down A. And Rizé gets the bomb at A short, whereas most of the players are in sight. So it's kind of like the same thing we saw in the last map, to be left. honest. The bomb, all the players inside, but the bomb outside. So, yeah, another tough task for them to claw it back. Just I have to trying to get. Ooh, but he gets the spike there. Okay, not guarded here with a frenzy as well. He will go for the kill. And Chisato getting the better of Daiki. But, ooh, Mr. Right now inside. And he hard. But yeah, Luja with the door de force. They will get time to plant, opting for a long plant. Which is very remaining. risky, but ooh. Yeah, ooh, missing the shot from the door de force. But yeah, Clutch. he's been playing the smarter game, and ooh, that was so unfortunate for Kusivacha. And now, even though they won the pistol, they won the bonus. The lead is on the side for W Gang. Pretty smart play there at the very end, not giving the kill because. One shot from that Tour de Force, and yeah, it would have been the round for Kursivatio. And yeah. Usually, players okay. do take that fight, you know? Even if they don't, players don't look at the time and they just like. About, time can also sorry, Time can also be, right? So, the players usually go in for the fight. And the reason was very smart in this aspect to not go for the fight and fall back, knowing that only two seconds were left on the clock. Exactly, and yeah, uh, generally people would be going for a uh, plant at the back, I would suppose, because they knew that they were defending, but they did not have enough info if the, there were either two kills guarding the bomb or just one. And, yeah, so they had to plant there and just unfortunate, but then Rize again kill on Chisato traded you very well by Dexter and the res ally. on Chisato. So making it three. No charges left. We have the breach ult here for retake. We might use it early, and yeah, I think we might be prepping it for you know, Spike yeah. planted. We have a flank coming in from Mr. Right now. All the way to the garage. One Chisato enemy gets the remaining. Kill on Empire, but Alpha with the 2k here. Pyro here at long all alone. Let's see if we can do anything else. The shock is coming in from Breeze, and I think they will get this in half. The spam coming in, but ooh, Alpha very well. Standing. Probably for the better. Going in for the full freeze instead of the half one. Especially since they knew that Pyro was done with the breach was done. So that was probably a good decision made by the other Omen to just stick it instead of leaving it half and taking a fight with Pyro. Yeah, and we did not notice that to be honest with you, but Alpha did use his ult in getting those two kills. And yeah, the retake successful. A two round lead for the side of W Gang. Yeah, we still have a buy from uh, Kursifaccio. Not much. We don't have full shields on two players on Pyro and Chisato, which might affect, but Chisato is almost ready with his ult. So yeah, he might be popping that really soon with just one ult orb. But Rize just. The way he's getting all these kills, 11 kills already, has his ult for the second time, which is very key to pushing the attack away on defense. But yeah, Emperor forced away by the drone right now, the turret guarding him for a bit. But hey. yeah, kind of looks like a garage split for C. But three players from the defense already there for C. So let's see if they can battle their way into C and get that post. But again. one thing I do hope is that they don't forget this spike again. <laughs> <laughs> Having 
I would say that was a storyline in the last match that we had, but yeah, not, not that kind of error here right now. Ooh, hard fought battle there from Fushika to Standing. Just the worst timing ever, and yeah, King Luz is still trading, but a 2v1, one player, or both them carrying from Garage, he has heard footsteps, I don't know if he has heard them both. One enemy remaining. Out. Ooh, a nice headshot, but yeah, but yeah, Rize getting the kill on a 3k for King Luza, but nonetheless, Rize getting the kill at the very end. 12 kills for him, and yeah, 3 round lead here for the side of the game. Like Phoenix as an Asian, uh, you need to be pretty confident to play Phoenix. Otherwise, you're only gonna be team flashing yourself or like <laughs> giving out team damage. So playing Phoenix means that you have to be pretty confident and pretty, you know, you should know that you can do it one in a thousand for Like yeah. Phoenix, it's as an Asian, he's got the like the voice lines like so confident on the. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I played yeah, these ones and my like, teammates almost tried to throw me out yeah. of the server. So yeah, no, but yeah, with I've the recent played. up, yeah, with the recent update, the flashes go out a little bit faster. So I think team flashes aren't a big of a problem right now. But nonetheless, Hopefully. being a duelist, yeah, uh, in this map he has an advantage. But on the other maps, you have to be kind of like a diehard Phoenix main in order to play really well because that's why the pick rate is kind of. Oh. Oh. Going in for the kill, but just get traded out by the situation right now. Is, of course, for three v two. Yeah, nonetheless, push in. Ooh, Daiki messing that up at the very end. But yeah, we see Pyro One enemy getting remaining. that battle in. But yeah, Rize coming back in, and the bomb is outside here. Let's see if it has no because it's there or not. But yeah, the defender in D. Yeah. I don't know. Shots on but does get taken out. Yeah, Pyro does not have his ult. Two more orbs here, so he will not be going for the bomb plant. Probably hoping to save this. They may have a buy at the very end, but yeah, it's always better to save if you can, because uh, the economic uh, decision, economic decision might left. be a little bit of a hassle. But yeah, Daiki like, moving all the way around. Very and bad position. Pyro is in here at the moment. Agarini, like it's like a double edged sword, you know. You go Agarini, you get hurt. You go Pasadi, there's also somebody to hurt you. So it's a, a very. Well, you got it. Yeah, and especially with mm, just one single initiator there for the side Placing of Kursi um, Vacuum, will not bubble. have much info. And even on the side the of the game, even though they have two initiators, Breach isn't the best at getting info. He's really well to push. Actually, especially with his aftershock and stuff but nonetheless info gathering can only be done by that sova and yeah it really depends on how these sova agents play with their drones and their recon darts very well this one is so big like uh, joke's like, over like, you're like, dead like, they'll move around <laughs> about so fast watch your eyes and like they'll not be there for hey. so long yeah, so and it's gonna be very difficult and I think that's the best part of being a chamber and a kill door because after the chamber's update of just getting one alarm bot, you still have another alarm bot there at KJ. Whereas if you are walling off, let's say, uh, the, uh, it's really hard to wall attention to and all there. From Alpha there, Bo Emperor getting the better of Dexter and another ult being popped off from the defense there. King Luda getting the kill on no Emperor and looks like a very good move on but ults coming out left and right. Three ults in the from the defenders here. Ooh, but the, uh, but the defense coming in up to half here. Rize getting the kill here but oh, what a shot from Chisato could not get traded away just on fire again. But yeah, he did not get there and Mr. Right now getting two kills at the end getting it to seven rounds so that guarantees a lead moving on to the next half for the side of w gang and yeah even though with the shadows, team, still will lead for kursi it does not look too stable right now mm, yeah definitely in the first two rounds what we saw was like we were, like kursi Vatio was like really doing good like um w gang had no option there like just a hit after but then w gang just overturned the lights yeah and they even invested uh three ults in that round itself the breaches Alt then leading in with Rize with his ult. Not out. do much. They're still getting enough info to push into sight and the Sova ult being popped. You want to play? Let's play. Shows that they have that dominating lead and the dominating mentality right now. But yeah, Luza putting out his ult here. We see a stinger on Chisato moving in towards B main with 
guarded heavily by those swarms and that alarm Turret bot destroyed. but yeah stinger is pretty much the best weapon that you can have i suppose in this situation if you're handling in smoke but yeah the smoke's about to fade i suppose all the players very concentrated for the B main push. Probably a burst right as soon as this one. Oh, oh, getting that oh, Emperor carried away. Gets the kill on Zodi, but an upgrade here for Chisato nonetheless. Yeah, the situation right now is a 4v4 with a uh, spike planted and going up. Gang is going in for the retake. So I'm a, but however, we're about to be very comfortable in the positions Ooh. in the right now. Taking the kill on Luza and then one enemy remaining. Yeah, I, I, I don't think if that was intentional from the side of Rize and Mr. Right now, but what happened was there was an alarm bot outside uh, the B window towards the spawn side right there, and the chambers of Luza had his already, and uh, Rize intentionally used his wall, which diverted uh, Luza's yeah. attention towards that, and yeah, Mr. Right now comfortably walked in from Garage and got the headshot there. So I don't know yeah. if that was intentional. Or are we seeing really good gameplay here from the side of defense? It was a clean retake, nonetheless. But even if that was intentional, it shows how good of a communication the team has with yeah, each exactly. other. Yeah, and you can still like tactically kill someone, you know, the hmm. game, uh. Yeah, even with the burst, I, 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 all credit here for the attackers as well with stingers that marshal in. They got that entry, and they even had an upgrade, but yeah, just the hole just was not enough. And yeah, we already have the lockdown. Is it being a little overzealous there on B mid? Gets straight away and Zodi taking the better of Alba and Chisato just spamming away on right. This is right now who just had his smokes in his hand and yeah. From this something around, to yeah. just a 5 2. Yeah, the lockdown there most probably gonna be saved, but yeah, I think we will be seeing an 8 3 anytime soon. Yeah, Seaside is fully open for Kusimata to go in and get a plant, but we do have Daiki coming in at the heels. Daiki getting a lift right now. Ooh, but the wall is heavy. And the oh. player standing. Spike down. Uh, does C. manage to get one person, but still it's a 1v4 situation Spike here planted. for Emperor. And we see Kusimata pretty comfortable in the positions, looking out for any possible backstabs or wherever Emperor is. And now attention is diverted. Yeah, Garage, 3k but... for Chisato, this guy leading in the Last charge as the main the duelist switch. and he already has his ult in. We have counter ults there from the side of KJ and we have an omen ult which hasn't been really used by Mr. Right now. Uh, he doesn't need to to be honest with such a really good lead here but if you see Dexter about to get his Hard revive out. ready just one more orb so he will be eyeing that in the very beginning and for the defense I don't see any ults coming in so yeah they might be playing with this for the economic side all of them have cash all of them equipped with rifles they have a phantom inside as well and yeah full shield on everyone so it's gonna be a battle here most probably towards the A side but uh, the thing about this uh, match between we don't see that one thing is dominating the other. Back down A. That balance Yeah, we have the red on the end, uh, on Dexter. Chooses to push Pyro out and <laughs> back into, from the after and Chisato getting the better of Emperor. We have a 5v3 already. The ult invested by Mr. Right now finally moves up to heaven trying to get as many kills. But ooh, Rita with a really slow flank right now. This is gonna get two kills for him for sure. I hope he yeah, has a drone coming out. Ooh, he didn't see that. But a perfect air going up from the side of Pyro and oh yeah, Mr. Right now all yeah. alone off and yeah this looks like an 8 for a pretty good recovery considering the fact that they lost 8 rounds in a row. I think this would be a really good concentration on the side of Kusibachi but uh, <laughs> shock uh, dart at the very end. Nice shock dart. You're seeing some dude perfect stuff right Over now there. but yeah I think Switching yeah ending sucks. the round in that way is probably the best thing that they could have hoped for and yeah Kusibachi now on the defense and for attacking we have oh sorry for the attacking we have uh, yeah, for the attacking, we have W Gang, and for the defense, we have Kursi Vachu. If you see the scorecards right now, we see the Chamber Luza with 15 kills, 9 deaths here, followed by Chisato with 12 kills, getting those 3Ks later on. And yeah, for the attacking side, Rize getting 16 kills, 6 that he's been the highlight already with those aggressive pushes with such confidence. But yeah, 9 kills here on this right now. They are looking pretty comfortable. Let's see how they can turn it over. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but Kursi Pachu has a decent enough chance to get this map into their, into their uh, with them. Tada! Uh, but, uh, 
W gang <laughs> might not give them a chance, but maybe Pussy Bachelor is gonna shoot up the game. And this is what I really like about these guys having that alarm bot already in the car. They have it. We take it on Chisato. We see a Phoenix diff right away. But yeah, Alpha getting the kill on Pyro. We have a 4v2 right now. So a little less on health for the attackers. But yeah, the more plant coming in, anyways. Yeah, with the spike planted. Looks like Double Gang is in a pretty good position right now. Um, and. You fought well. Difficult, but Last like, player standing. Health, so they might. But then again, it's a 1v2 now. Done. And. Oh. Team A. Zodi getting that kill on Emperor, but Mr. Right now finishing off this round by giving Zodi. So we have the ninth round for Double Gang here. And Pussy Bacha sits at a score of 4. So it's a 9 4 with a 5 score. Five point score gap between the two teams. That uh, we cannot discredit Kursi Bacha just yet. They still have a chance to make a comeback. And if she maybe eventually win this map. So uh, it just goes on to how well they can capitalize on the uh, agents they have and how well they can be on the defensive side. And yeah, now we have a five round. That's what he had. He was just filing. Oh, the Spectre gets traded away with a classic, but yeah, that's Last player standing. Ooh, Alpha getting the kill with his burst and just one more player remaining. King Luja with nice nothing stop. much he can do because the bomb is just planted on the opposite side. Plus, Shorty is such a close ranged gun, and if they don't push him further enough, it's gonna be very difficult. But uh, in Oilena, it's very difficult. <laughs> He's getting a gun now, so he has a gun. Uh, he is making his way into seaside. That up, I don't know how. Got to go. Ooh, getting another with the spectre, just making it a little more costly so that they have to invest in something good or save in the next round. But yeah, for the attackers, <laughs> and yeah, the is first two the double digits here in a close half. It would have been a close Everyone half, but yeah, note down your observations. Then let's here, but could be a comeback. From the side of defense, yeah, let's see what happens now. Yeah, defense has been doing good enough. They are thorough. Oily, oily, oily defense about Bella. They, they just haven't been managing to get like double ganko or like they, they haven't been managing to read double ganko moves are enough to like when Sunny turn the tides over into them. Especially when they're playing angles, especially with the breach and his usual, it's very increasingly difficult for Kursi Bacho to like gain any momentum around here. Yeah, yeah, and especially you would be expecting a little bit of movement. My ultimate's ready! That's on the second round here. But for now, Pussy Bacho has to show the experience that they had in the lower bracket. But you never know, Double Gang came here yesterday. Revealing from area. The, uh, top upper bracket, so they might have kind of like that firepower in them still. Because they, even though it is the lower bracket, it's very competitive, but the upper bracket is equally competitive right now. Definitely, yeah. So now what it looks like is that we're going for a push. Um, double gang going in for you a should push run. Push. And we only have a turn. Spike down, okay. We can all but take some Emperor and Easy, but Daiki coming in for the save, making it a 3v4. King Luza, it's so hard to make sure that the lockdown Spike was planted. broken. He even got yeah. easy off guard. Getting ahead. He kind of messed that spray up at the very end. Out of charges. But yeah, still getting the kill, but gets raided by Daiki and the lockdown doing its thing, getting the post plant in. But yeah, taken out. Maybe getting the kill on the enemy Daiki remaining. Getting the kill on the enemy. Oh yeah, two kills and finally a round here on defense for the side of Pussy Bacio. They have three players left, and with all those bandos fighting. Very important for them because now this is the step in which they will be leading to, uh, let's say, hey. a really big lead. Hey. Hopefully, hopefully, what we're gonna uh, observe now is a comeback from Percy Bacha to make things more exciting. Yeah, we, I mean, it is, um, it's pretty great to see if both teams are on like equal points and if you're really battling it out, you know, it's really good to see some equal. <clears throat> balanced out gameplay from both the teams. So hopefully, Pussy Butcher is going to make a comeback. And you put you, we're going to see very exciting stuff coming. And especially with Kursi Vacuo right now, they really have a really good push and especially 
um, with that breach combined with the swarm grenades and the Come on, let's go. Well, well, and you can see uh, just like getting to the call ready and getting enough in, but ooh, they're still getting the kill uh -huh. for uh, yeah, really still bringing out is in his alt goes back, but he has sloshed the Careful now! Alt popped out from the side of defense on their chamber, and yeah, trying to get as much in for possible, but Chisato getting the kill on Daiki, making it a little more spicy. More to here, more here for defense. And Uzuri getting the kill on out from there. A 4vp here, the shock not coming in. <laughs> One enemy Dying, remaining. But yeah, Fire getting the kill on Rizzi, and all of the Mister right now with But the right click obviously always helps her up. Well, yeah, he didn't have much information, and there were too many people surrounding the spike to yeah, take a hit. Even though he so. did get, if he had gotten that kill with that classic, uh, I don't think there was yeah. there was enough time to get that defuse in. So nonetheless, a valiant effort from their side, and we yeah, see them nice lead effort. being shut out slowly. Just four rounds here to go with an advantage on the economic side for the side of Kursivacho, but nonetheless, we have by on all sides Zodi surprisingly has a spectre so i don't know if he's planning to play a bit more close range here with chisato most probably no no flash no, 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 no. What a flash there spike down a and yeah fire taking the kill Rize, taking yeah. that aggressive yeah, I think aggression aggression yeah. is something you don't <laughs> but with a phoenix exactly. it's very possible so i think that flies on but oh none we got Mr. Right now getting a kill as well, leading it down to a 3v3. The defense do have an ult to stop a bomb plant there. Um, let's see where they use it and when. Yeah, definitely. So now it looks like the attackers will be going on to A site now. They think that they might have a possible better chance at A site. And it does look like defense is moving away, but they might come back as soon as they hear any noise. But defense is mostly concentrated to B to A. So, uh, very. They can reroute back to A fast. Looks okay. So, it looks right now, what looks uh, looks like is probably gonna be an A push, but not everyone is in there. So, it looks like everyone is. 30 seconds left. There. Yeah, pretty empty A site there, and Emperor making sure he checks every single corner, but it gets stuck here because Chisato is playing very passive. Ooh, see, oh, oh, and oh, a little too. I don't think it would be necessary for him to click there. All those angles, I think a bomb plant would be necessary. Yeah, Cover going coming up. in, but yeah, Chisato going up. Ten heaven. seconds left. Might get that plant in, but let's do an alt coming in at the very last second. Tonight he gets the plant, but gets so oh, does not get traded. One yeah. enemy remaining. But oh yeah, gets killed yeah. there. The oh, they did not get the plant down. Yeah, yes, the Suba ult just stopped them right in their tracks as they were about to plant. There was like five seconds on the clock. And with the server out, there is nothing you can do at the moment. Little fumble there from the side of Emperor, I suppose. I think as soon as he cleared CT, I think it wasn't really necessary for him to push. Maybe trying to get someone off guard holding B, but yeah, we could see Chisato playing really, really passively there, getting that kill on Emperor. And now just a three round lead for the side of W Gang. A really nice comeback mounting in. Three rounds continuously for the side of Kursivacho, and we're Cover moving going to out. the score gap Aki Dekhi it's a 7 score at the moment and Rize takes down Chikato getting a gun upgrade in the process looks like the attackers might go for a push but we do have chamber energy for them and Emperor gets Thought a hit coming on back. Fire, making it a 5v3 right now the advantage is in the hand of the attackers at the moment Mm, a subtle pace change and, it's, and the wall on be a little less secure for the defensive side yeah, and we haven't seen any aggression from the side of defense as well uh, we can see chamber holding a long quite passively there and yeah we can just see the sofa but b side is completely clear although it is guarded by that alarm bot does not give any info on how many players are there and yeah dexter cornered i don't think he will be getting out he gets one spike he down gets a line up there. it's really down really low but yeah he gets his back up with his hot hand and his flame wall and yeah we have a 4v2 now and an ult for the side of double gang so finally stopping this comeback from the side oh. of um 
course, the value on defense, yeah, but still a 3v2, very doable. On defense, the top is a bit of 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 a bit Coming in, he will be stinging it. A flash coming in, but oh, the flash getting them off. Right now, the all coming in. Oh, the skill is here, and yeah, the all be wasted now as well. And what a play there from Alpha using every single utility in his utility belt, getting that kill and an advantage. And a lead here finally being increased from the side of W Gang. 11 7 is the score, three ults on the side of W Gang, where it's just a revive for the sign of Kursi Vachu. So the momentum has already shifted because just after one round, a round win, W Gang will be reaching match point and will be winning the first map. But let's see if Kursi Vachu can stop that on defense. Yeah, because they've done a pretty solid job of um, taking the score from a very large gap to 10 7 and now 11 7. But yeah, Kursi, we cannot discredit this just yet. They might be able to get it back again, but uh, by anybody. Yeah. Yeah, we could really honestly write a book on all the comebacks that are about to happen in this match. Ooh, we can see Chisato trying to stop that lockdown in with his hot hands, but the lockdown a little deeper than expected. Not reaching A side, honestly, but these guys instead, with all those players that A have focused on, be a pretty open plant, pretty risky from Alpha. But Spike yeah, planted. the smoke's coming yes. in for him right now. Get the plant and a 4v5 advantage. They have a res there on the stage right now. The ult being invested from the side of Kursi Vachu Uda. Getting the kill oh, as well. Dexter getting two kills here from ceiling and the wall. Now, this is something, but no what a flank run. here from Emperor now. Gets the kill. Daiki gets the kill on Pyro and with the ult on Dexter. Emperor plays super passive. The kill there, but no fun. Yeah, only, okay. only if Zodi did not check back, did not look. But then again, with the Silva ult, the focus on that direction meant that Zodi would be looking at Emperor in his line of sight. So, yeah, yeah. a good I, I... effort by Emperor, but. <laughs> Then again. Ember has been, I think, very misfortunate in this match twice, yeah. to be honest with you. Especially from that A side push that he had. Clearing A side, just going to spawn, getting killed by Chispe. And now, <laughs> almost getting the kill on the Diffuser. Honestly, if he had gotten that uh, kill, I think that would have been the round. And even uh, maybe saved his life as well. But yeah, this gets unluckily spotted there as the kill comes in. Luja with the op on defense. We just have a three round lead here for W Gang and a rev already in hand for Kursi Vachu. Yeah, let's see how this so turns out. So it's pretty out. manageable, I would say, for Kursi, Kursi Vachu to come and get a comeback and maybe like round up the scores a bit. But then again, in this situation in Valorant, there's nothing we can say. Like, predict God and it never, almost never, you know, never correct. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Long fight there. And fire that gets the better of him. Gets traded away. So we have a 4 v 4 here. But Dexter revving fire as well. Ooh, the kill. Perfect. The kill here. Kind of missed there on Chisak. Gets the kill here. King Ruza gets the kill on Daiki. Razy trading. King Ruza with that frenzy. And we have a 3v2. Not much health on Rize. Although he can pop his ult. But what a flank here. Ooh, and the spike. Good effort by Zodi there, but Alpha stands taller with his sheriff here. Now with the spike on their hands, thirty seconds on his left. Plant but the spike. We it's a two v two. Yeah, but that's the. I would say. Stealing sight. But I would say that is probably. Spike planted. So, ooh, yeah. Last player standing. <laughs> One <laughs> enemy ooh, remaining. Again, the kill, and we can Jokes see it. Over. Heals up three, and now he's all out as. Well, this is an interesting round to say the least. Because if you had noticed when they came out the window, oh, if you remember when they pushed the window to get that kill on Breach, and he didn't get, he normally did not spot that uh, bomb being thrown really close towards garage, and that led Dexter to go back to see which led the ah, yeah, to yeah. be a lot weaker. And yeah, Pyro just could not get that kill. The timing was so off there, and he teleported on the hot hands that was thrown by Rize to heal himself. And yeah, 
that just led to one block being destroyed one after the other and uh, three, I think it was a 4v2, I think it was a 4v2 getting demolished to a 2v1 and Dexter just did not close it and Rize closing out using his ult at the perfect time and man, he's going here. Ooh, Dexter with a right beat at the very end. No warning, he will be destroyed pretty quickly but nonetheless avoiding their plans a little more. Yeah, he slows him down at least up to the point where his teammates can come in and help him maybe retain the site a bit more. The slow orbs of Sage like really help out. So in that sense, like maybe he has a bit more time now. Ooh, Emperor finally getting the timing on his team right now. But yeah, next to get kill on Reese. The ult coming in, the ult coming in from Alpha gets the kill on Dexter and now it's almost an open spike. The Spectre from Pyro getting one kill on Alpha, a 3v3 here. We have an ult just on the Omen. More gun advantage, but yeah, ooh, Chisat still using that Spectre. It's very bad here. Daiki remaining. getting the kill here, 3k for him. And then Chisato at the very end trying to get his team across the line not much health in oh, yeah, yeah, ever again that skill at. All right. yeah. attackers win yeah, finally it seems like in the last rounds the emperor finally got a bit <laughs> on the luckier side like he was so unlucky in the first rounds like <laughs> he's like because the like cause the like tech up timing miss white out here first first true, so at true, least true. finally last month hey like, even he luck was in his favor yeah i think 15 kills and 18 and that's for a kill joy especially on mm, haven definitely. i think it's it's it, i would say it's pretty decent considering the fact that the other players have lesser kills than him and that is the best part here Rize is standing out again the duel is standing out and the chambers but yeah now a phoenix 23 kills closely matched by king loser 22 kills but nonetheless w gang pushing it all the way getting the first win on haven so yeah the team that came from the uh, upper brackets here showing a bit of dominance although 13-8 is pretty close let's see the experience that kursi Vacho has gained from their uh, experience here in the lower brackets is going to play well in the second half. So just a reminder for you guys, make sure you share this with your friends. It's a Saturday, everyone's at home. Make sure everyone's watching the stream. Make sure you're promoting the Baron scene as much as possible because we have an amazing, amazing uh, prize pool here. Two lakhs in prize pool from our lovely sponsors, Patao. We have merch uh, giveaways on our Instagram from Cubex as well as so many uh, giveaways for two mice, two mechanical keyboards and a heads and headset from the guys there at Astral Tech. So make sure you apply and make sure you take part in our giveaways on Instagram and make sure you get those prizes and enjoy a, val a lot of Valorant with it. So yeah, we yeah. will be taking a short break here. The second map is coming up in a short break. So make sure you stay tuned and yeah, we'll meet you there in the second map. Yeah, see you in the second map.
ખાઈ એ આવતો ને તો Hello everybody, welcome back into the second map match of our match between Kursi Bhatjero and W Gang. So with a very nice performance up in Haven, now we're up to our second map, that is Ascent. So we had W Gang, w Gang winning a 13-8 on Kursi Bhatjero in Haven, but this time can Kursi Bhatjero change it up and come back again and show W Gang what they're made of. So I am Veeb and I have here with me Vunch. Hello guys, and yeah, a pretty quick agent select here. If you can see for the defenders, we have the double initiator on KO Alpha. They're on the Sova, Rize on the chamber now. The last guy who, who really had a really good game there, getting quite a bit of kills. But yeah, Daiki here on the Astra and Mr. Right now on the Rize. A pretty different pick here on Ascend. But yeah, unless we have Killjoy here for the attacking side here, we even have a chamber. We have just one initiator on the side of Fade and yeah, a Rize and an Omen. So we see Rize picks there for the duelist. Something different that we normally don't see. We see mostly a Jet or Arena here on Ascend. So yeah, something surprising. All good for all the people here. Make sure you share with your friends this stream and make sure yeah you take part now give away the second match between kursi batio and w gang coming up i think this one's gonna be a very exciting map a uh, match as uh, ascent is a very well recognized map that everyone is like so it's um this map you should have played it a lot so interesting gameplay is going on on around here in ascent and especially now we see that their attackers are going for a mid to b push here i mean we do have the defense waiting but Rize going in for that aggressive play here yeah, that, uh, it does not care if he's either a chamber or a phoenix just pushing in making sure he gets as much info as possible but yeah the first pick for kursi Bacio getting the better there oh, off the KO and yeah we see astra really low right now but ooh Rize with one kill with the headhunter teleport on time and zodi gets the kill on Rize a 3v4 advantage here for kursi Bacio on attack but yeah health on them isn't that great raise and Omen pretty low. Alpha coming in. He knows that there is Scanning one ahead. person there at the main. Pyro staying tucked in, but ooh, does not get scanned. And yeah, just holding Alpha there at the main. We got Daiki getting his first down pretty no low, more. but what a headshot there from Alpha. Mr. Right now, and one then he comes remaining. in. Jishato getting the kill on Daiki, but all remaining. on him. Dexter 1v1 raise versus the gate. And ooh, what a spam there really from Dexter. An by Dexter I, there. Another pistol win here for the side of Kursi Vaji. I think that is going to help them quite a bit to come back in the series, possibly getting the second map. But Definitely. yeah, a, a kill coming in there at the very end. Pretty dicey at the end, getting really good headshots there with the classic there on Alpha. But yeah, pulling it away. The attackers get the hold on B, did not let the defense get the defuse. And yeah, we have a 1 0 lead for the side of the uh, We shouldn't be too happy about that just yet because <laughs> last time, Kill Map, well, the same thing happened, right? They won the first two this go around. So that was like Double Gang got onto the momentum and did not give Kursibacho the chance to do anything at the moment. And yeah, especially with the oh. on defense, Double Gang. That's here. allowed. Well, their retake, they might be going for a retake, yeah. Yeah, with classics, there's nothing much to save here. We do have a sheriff there on Emperor, but yeah, it's better if they just try to get as much economic damage here on the side of Kursi Vatio. But they have quite a bit of firepower. All of the players with Spectres getting full shields, making sure that they don't get one tap from far away with those sheriffs. And yeah, we have the bomb plant in three classics, one. They're on Emperor, the VJ uh, coming very slow, but Zodi yeah, posting up very closely on the slow. Gets the spam in on Mr. Right now. They are in towards switches, but yeah, might be looking for some exit frags right now. I suppose they aren't really committing yeah, into side. They, they do not have guns at the moment right now, yeah. so it's difficult to retake. Last it. player oh, standing. But nonetheless, a flawless round there, there for the side 
off Kursi Bacho, not losing any person, just getting shields damaged a little bit on Zodi, who lost his shields, but yeah, a buy for the side of the blue gang. We already see two Vandals, one on Mr. Right now, and Emperor getting a buy right now on Vandals. Three Vandals in, no full shields though across the board for the side of W gang alpha leading in with two kills on the sova we see mr right now with just one kill and yeah now we can see kind of like a b push here with the vandals but we can see quite some mid aggression here from the side yeah, Rize does yeah but then again they've been going b for the past two rounds so w gang might have already have a red of b on that and Rize going in the first kill at pyro I think the perfect angle that Alpha could have ever Definitely. thought of, just getting the head tips there, just giving them a slight haircut, getting that 3k in, and yeah, and nonetheless, they have Spectre on the hand, gets big, and Emperor getting the kill on Luza, the first round on the board for the blue game. So with the scores being the exact mimic of the map before <laughs> us, is it gonna is history gonna repeat itself or are we gonna see Kursi Pacho finally take initiative here and get a map for themselves? Yeah, we Very saw uh, yeah we saw a ditto, a duplicate there in the previous match as well. But we might be seeing that. I would it was pretty interesting to be honest with you when they were playing Haven as well. But Damn. yeah, W Gang just getting a bit of an a lead at the very end. But yeah, Crucifacio coming guns blazing again. Let's see if they turn this around to an advantage for them. Yeah, so again, they, it looks like they're thinking of going to B, but the spike is down and they might do a quick reroute and rotate, but let's see. Mr. White now getting a kill on Zodi, making the situation into a 3v5 at the moment. I think W Gang are living up to their aim right now. Just to Spike down, through B. those smokes, getting those kills here. Alpha getting another kill here, although created by Pyro, but yeah. One enemy remaining. Luza getting the kill on Mr. Right now. Taiki getting the better of Luza trading him away. And yeah, Pyro all alone the KD with his turret though. But yeah, Taiki trades him off. And we see another identical scoreline from the previous match. 2 2 equalized again by W Gang. And yeah, now I think we are finally moving. No, no, we don't have much of an economy there. So let's see whether Kusifacho either saves or are they going for kind of like this half mixed buy with some sheriffs. We have a vandal there. We see a bulldog here and there. But nonetheless, for the side of W Gang, we have five vandals on all of them. Four full shields and just Emperor hasn't bought a full shield yet, although he can afford. I think he wants to spice it up a little bit right now. Definitely. So, looks like they're always going to be, like, it always looks like the team are going to be, Yanni. It did work in the first few rounds, but they might have to be in the Like, up to their name by pressing W. I think Kursi Vacho is trying to create another room by just doing rush B everything around. But yeah, now they are going for this push here at mid, but with the stingers and the bulldog actually getting those skills have an advantage, a man advantage, a 3v2 there. Weapons on the hand, they have two vandals already. They don't have shields on the players with the vandal and a frenzy on Dexter with half shields. But full shields for Alpha and Rize, which both have vandals, but they look pretty split right now we can see alpha way back and their spawn i don't know if he's trying to get like a lineup or of some sort but the bomb slowly creeping in towards a two people already in garden but just look at the position that Rize has on vines he will be getting the bomb off but, but ooh, the fade utility now they know and now we One are enemy coming remaining. in and a kill from chisato with just 5 hp and yeah this looks like around left. here unless we can see alpha get something area. different here they have for the Spike next round, so most probably will be going for some economic damage. We know that they have vandals here, but yeah, looks kind of a bleak thing. And yeah, Dexter upgrades to a vandal as well, so three vandals on one. Let's see who wins. Uh, yeah, I think their situation, Aiden, I was like, um, I don't think they are so bad. So much for their yeah, yeah, proven true by Dexter getting that kill and getting where third are round. You? Their teeth will chatter in the Maybe cold and dark. Yeah. They are showing something different to us, like a different boy as well. So they kind of sound like, you know, last time, three round after they got for themselves this much, it was a pretty clear domination by W Gang for quite some rounds. I mean, they 
did a bit of a comeback there we're not able to like fully utilize that the ring of a they might show us a bit more of the you know horrible team go power rest. yeah economy a little broken there for w gang on defense right now as kursifacho gets that lead here but yeah rize most probably looking for his store defense just needs one more kill or an orb but being jiggled very very hard there he gets killed right she's to get already but she's to getting another kill on emperor yeah just an Ares, uh, pretty much a troll by, and a Sheriff for Daiki, and Mr. Right now with a friendly here. Yeah, the situation is a 3v5 at the moment. Attackers with a clear two round advantage. Spike planted. Nice, also. Mr. Right now dies at the hands of King Uja here. It's a 2v5 in making it Spike planted. for double gang yeah, to get this round to themselves. Do you think we might be standing ahead? Or... Ooh, with with five ults online for the attackers, I don't uh -huh. see a, a chance yeah. anyway right now. No way, especially with the raise of the fade, the chamber. Even the lockdown in there. Yeah, One enemy remaining. They have not so the gang just had an Ares and a frenzy in there. Oh. And then, yeah, spammed out. Zodi gets the last kill on Alpha. And yeah, two round lead here. Not repeating history itself. And yeah, Chrissy Vacho getting two rounds instead. Now leading in and yeah looks like oh <laughs> there is some wrong chat <laughs> errors there a little bit of trolling on the chat a little bit of mind games going here from dz i don't know if it's intentional or not but yeah chisato says it's okay so it's okay i guess <laughs> yeah it's, uh, well a healthy banter is not that bad I know, I know. they are this. mine yeah it's but okay. dz now has his four force ready so he's opting to use that instead playing very aggressive and ooh, oh wait did the did the prowler actually take that shot <laughs> yeah i think the prowler took the shot instead of chisato giving chisato a very like ability to just maneuver out of the situation yeah. that happened. I, I think I, I think i know who gets the round mvp right now <laughs> kind of like the turret gets it most of the time i think uh... yeah the fades prowler will get some recognition now yeah and as we see a complete shift here, I think they knew the Tour de Force was there. He will be playing pretty aggressive, getting his TP set up in a pretty comfortable spot, and now moving slowly through spawn towards the A site where the KO and Raze is waiting at Garden. Pretty passive play here from W Gang. I don't see much aggression on this side. Of the Face your fear. The, space, but yeah, the ults coming in. Two ults there popped from the side. Ooh, but she's had to get in the better of Emperor who popped his ult, the null command as well. I don't think there's a chance that he will be revived. And yeah, the A site is there for the Daisy Texture, making sure that he does not get revived. And ooh, Luza getting the better of Mr. Right now on Garden. But Daiki with Spike two kills a. and Alpha with another kill on Dexter. Turning the side around. A 2v2 now. The lockdown is still in play. Ooh, so he's missing out a little bit. But ooh, gets spammed. And then that is so unfortunate there for Zodi. And he's area moving clear. in right now. The area is clear but pyro hasn't get gotten the bomb plant ready we will be spamming it in like, yeah. oh, no more. pyro did not have a chance there alpha was very crucial for this round for I, double gang yeah especially with the ult yeah i know i still can't follow how many ults went through the fade went all through uh the ult from the omen from the tank side well dude then the null command came in then i think i saw a sova ult somewhere i'm not really sure but other than oh yeah we did see a sova yeah, ult as alpha, well alpha, like right as they were about to plant fade was right about to plant right in there. inside that alpha knew exactly his exact location and he paid hacker i'll go in a hacker fade like mine uh, you want to play down. let's play yeah, I pick him out and yeah, I think not getting the post plant was probably the worst part there for Kursi Vacho. And yeah, now losing one player who popped their ult in. And yeah, Emperor taking the pair of Chisato, getting another kill here. Holding W and getting... I think he is in the mood right now. And ooh, the spike being dropped. Another problem here for the side of Kursi Vacho. Let's see if they can get it back and get it planted. Basically, W Gang is showing us that even if one enemy remains. My old spot ready. Now they're still in the making, and they're still good enough to take a commanding Head stand, on. I suppose. Yeah. True, true, and every time Pyro is the last player, I kind of feel bad for him because his turret, because yeah. his turret and him, he, he's left alone there in the battlefield, surrounded 
pretty much almost i think i think b side is probably the best bet that he has but look at the possession that daiki has i don't think he will be checking this angle at all he is moving towards garden ooh almost spotting each player but yeah 30 shot seconds on left the back here. <laughs> for that one tap not getting it but yeah, yeah. almost missing the shot on pyro but does manage to like redeem it does manage to give himself redeem. redemption and he, yeah redeem himself able to get the kill getting a fourth round for double gang so the scores are pretty balanced right now this yeah. is what makes the game interesting you see two two rounds here from the side of um Kursi two there. rounds from w gang and it's Caution just back here. and forth right now a pretty exciting game here for map two between Kursi Vacho and w gang and yeah again another b push a kind of correct read the paranoia might come in early kind of stunning but oh not a push to follow that up i think there was a counter also from Ember, but, yeah. Gets traded away, and we have a man advantage for Pussy Bache, who are going there, guns blazing, the paint shells coming in at market, pushing them away, and yeah, the site is clear for taking. Now, with the spike most probably planted here, is a spike planted spike situation, and attackers with a clear one man advantage here. So, we have Daiki coming in for the push through the market, but I don't know. Yeah, they have a 45 advantage, especially with the out there on the show right now. And just as I say it, he dies there and Chicago letting his ult out gets the kill and ooh, a flawless round there. King Luza with such a commanding position there at B main gets three kills from people dropping in from market and yeah, just like that, it's another round win here. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna get this next one here right now. But ooh, we do see a bit of a buy, an op buy from BZ. He was saving up for that quite from quite a few rounds. Yeah, Spectre opted from Mr. Right now. I think he's That's better off spot. playing the closer range right now since he isn't feeling his rhythm. But yeah, another counter op from pyro on kj so i think he might be holding some angles yeah but he yeah off for the vandal here gives it to king loser and yeah let's see another map with a very i would say a partial b push with the bomb dropped in and we can see the fade going back towards spawn but yeah seems like a b push for bomb yeah, most probably since the spike there. I think like W uh Kursi Vacho is pretty inclined Here. to be for some reason. But um, what we can see, Augi Deki, is that Ema they are having more luck. Yeah, but what a kill there from King Luza, although his arm was being shown there to Rize at the very beginning, but just swinging wide enough to Rize from mid shot and yeah, getting it cleared. But yeah, traded away at mid from Alpha. But, ooh, the ops coming in and the ult being popped. Now, this is such a scary situation. Oh, in and two kills. Spike down mid. Right now, not using his ult in the last round, and now getting two instead. That is. Um, but do a double peek here. King Luza not being able to take anyone. Then Daiki in getting another kill. And one here, but what? A Ferrari peek from Dexter, but he has no clue. And yeah, Emperor getting the better. I, I think the timings are favoring Emperor in this map compared to the first map right Definitely. now. Definitely. The first yeah, but... match is a very big leap. He's taken on luck, eh? I know, but what, her yeah. what heroics from the side of Dexter. He was all alone at A main, gets that kill in, goes garden, misses that, uh, dodges that off shot there from Mr. Right away, gets that kill in, and yeah, just since the bomb was already there on the side of Emperor, all he could do was just wait for Dexter to come take it, and yeah, gets a shot on the back, giving another equalizing round. Uh, what an exciting match they were having. Five rounds equalized coming in head to head on Ascent. And yeah, we see a buy on Rize again for the op. Oh, I mean the op that was saved in the previous round, but a full buy for the players here. And we can see a push slowly, but ooh, Mr. Right now pushing in, getting the kill on Chisato. Pushing smoke says, I think this is the motto for W Gang, but ooh, Luza taking the better off Rize, getting that op out of the way. And we have a 4v4. We have the Astral Wall on the defense for W Gang, and we have the Fey fades alt on attacking so both advantages for them to retake and to attack let's see how they use it now hmm. especially with the four, four situation it's uh well i would say Cover going out. So, uh, face your fear 
sort of like, oh, okay, now, the other rounds have been pretty bad. Like, one, two, three, and on the uh, Emperor with the kill on Zodi and King of the Dragon. by Dex. Dex are making it back. One enemy remaining. Spike down, B. Ooh, a, a 3k there at the very end from Mr. Right now, although he just had a Spectre on him, Last gets those kills in, in and yeah, the first team to reach the half of a play point is W Gang getting 6 rounds and guaranteeing that they will either go with a lead or a draw to the next round, whereas yeah, Pursifachi will be trying to get at least a 6-6 six, six scorecard by the end of this round. And all we see right now is another B play here. We have a buy situation in which all players have Vandal. Just Dexter okay. compromising a little bit by taking a half shield. So, Mark yeah. One. Oh, we have Alpha with a half shield as well. So, yeah. Right from that here. Luza taking the first you kill on Mr. Down, right now. Please. But Emperor trading Dexter away. But Luza getting another kill on Emperor as well. Satchel with out. a 4v3 here. The ult from the attacking side. The KJ's lockdown coming in. Pushing paper away, ooh, but Alpha has such a good angle, so not capitalize on it, but there are three players, and Pyro gets the better off Alpha. A 4v2 here, the Astral Wall still locked in for W Gang, but not much compared because they have two more players there from the side of defense. Daiki desperately trying to get that spam out, yeah, but the plant coming in. We still have the ult there on. Uh, the chamber there, we have Luza, the top fragger in this server with Zul, but yeah, I think the band is better now. Yeah, the astral wall coming in. If you can see the, the minimap right now, all of them are playing inside, so you can see Luzi being a lot paranoid for that hold on B main, but yeah, they have to push it. Second is taking Luza, getting the 3k online, getting the 3k online, and yeah. Luza with the 4k, almost an ace end, but what a splendid round from the attacker. It was a B push, Switching but it was sides. pretty passive, using really good utility uses, using that lockdown to push them away. Pyro getting that kill on Alpha, and yeah, now on the that attacking works. side, we have Double Gang, and on defense, we have uh, Kushi Bacho, and I'm really excited to see what the KJ, what Pyro has in mind with that KJ. Most probably locking down B side, but ooh, we have a setup here on... A instead so yeah and a correct read i'd suppose because five players are already there ready to push a site with frenzies and yeah a couple of ghosts right there yeah a very exciting <clears throat> first half shown by both the teams equalizing the scores like round after round so it was very exciting to see how both teams like were very equal in regards of like <clears throat> firepower and tactics so all about like with their with their rules reversed and their sides switched, let's see how it goes. Yeah, and now is where we can see a patient play here from the side of Kursi Vacho, that KJ holding in, but ooh, Luza being scanned behind the generator, he can scan for him, but ooh, the swarm grenades here from Pyro Rize being cooked alive, gets killed just by the swarm grenade, and we can see an immediate retreat here. We can see Alpha slowly moving in at mid top, will see Pyro oh, there, but uh, gets Pyro in as well, so a trade coming in, a 4v4 situation, and might still be an A split right now, but the bomb moving in from their spawn, but look at the passive play there from the side of Kursi Vacho. We can see a very aggressive peak from the side of Chisato, making sure that he in, uh, relays as much information as possible. Yeah, I think it's a mid split to B right now with the bomb just... Bam. Dexter getting the kill on Daiki. No smokes there for attacking anymore. And another kill. Ooh, Dexter is just on a roll right now in this map. Ooh, Chisato gets that information in. Ooh, Emperor pushing with the frenzy gets pushed away by the oh, player and, yeah, standing. Alpha just gets them from two sides. And yeah, nothing much Emperor can do with the frenzy, I suppose. Yeah, especially now in a 1v4 situation, he is in a very rock in a hard place, as they would say, you know, he doesn't have much time. 10 seconds left. Aside from going for the fire, especially with 10 seconds on the timer remaining, will he manage to get the last kill? No, Dexter takes him down with the ghost, and here we have a seventh round. Yeah, uh, what do you think will be... Will will we see another lead here from the side of Kursi Vacho on defense looking at their comp or do you think it's gonna be a back and forth again a 7-7 seven, seven, and 8-8 eight, eight. what do you think Reed? Oh well we've already seen how irritating and annoying KJ is you know in defense especially with the turret and the spawn grenade so 
placing four oh, grenades. Jesus, I think it will make it a little bit very difficult for um, W Gang to advance forward. I mean, but she played their usually usual comp, so about they'll just need to rethink tactics now. I think. Yeah, but I, I think with the comp that these guys have, I think Kusivachu is a lot more favored there on defense, especially those two alarm bots. Are really, really handy to stop those. Um, late flanks that W Gang might be aiming to throw in, but yeah, the Astra there, the KO especially, can disarm that alarm bot for quite some time. Also, or his null command ult. So either way, I think it is a win for Kursifaki. So he just spots Rize at the very last second, seeing his girl's battle, and yeah, with that kill, it's again a retreat for W Gang. Again, moving in for that garden position, but just classics and not not a full buy in their hand. I don't see much of a hope for them and most probably an 8-6 at the end of this round. Yeah, definitely. It does look, it is pointing in that direction, especially since they're going A. So it's like, it's a trend of the Shadows 30 side As in like, on the B now, it looks as if double gang is opting for A. There are less of a King on Saksai situation, especially A. Yeah, and especially with a calm 30 seconds left. And One enemy remaining. Really want to utilize their uh, I would say their Long. as much as possible. Yeah, we see a 4k from Zodi in the garden position. Rock solid, not letting anyone enter garden. But yeah, with a KO and a Sova there, I think A-side would probably be the best thing because they have enough utility to clear all the corners. It is a larger site than B. Not wall bangable in a lot of scenarios, I suppose. And yeah, especially with that Astra with the stuns and the pulls that she has, I think you can get a quite bit of a shock dart utility there. Not clicking so much on attack, but it's yeah, it's just two rounds. We never know what double gang have up their feet. Yeah, definitely. Now it looks like they're going for change base and making their way into B side, B side now. There is KJ and Ray, so, Ooh, yeah. so with KJ it's gonna take a lot of Fire is just getting the perfect lead there with the UTV button with the knife coming right in just before the players come out and the vandals in but none of the factors and ooh, yeah, you can see that trigger on Chisato getting the kill on Mr. right now and you can see the KO is so low right now Dexter getting the kill on Emperor Dexter getting another kill on like Emperor as well and what a round a bonus win for the side of Kursivaccio and yeah I think double digits is inevitable right now by and I am but I wouldn't discount, I wouldn't like put any uh, double gang, like, I wouldn't put them down just yet. I think they might just manage to get make it into a 7 9 here. Yeah. Uh, then again, it's gonna be very difficult. Bot coming back, Especially out of charges. Since the Nimaya's a stay. Yeah, Placing so the composition on the side. Pussyvacho is in a pretty good spot. Yeah. <laughs> And other than the agent comp, I honestly think it's really good beats from the side of... Ooh, no way. <laughs> That's what tapped on a, a pre-fire emperor, just unlucky. Yeah, although a save round, uh, not nothing much that can be done here. But nonetheless, Rize is slowly walking up on A side. And yeah, agent comp, regardless of the agent comp, I really think the reads that are coming out from Kursivach, I don't know what they figure out right now, maybe from previous scrims that we've seen. But ooh, Daiki getting the kill on... Pyro disarming those swarm grenades, so that is kind of an important thing. Luza alone here, getting some back up here from Zodi, and yeah, Luza getting the kill on Rize as well. But like you said, other than the comps, I only think the reads that Kursifachu are getting in this defensive side is it's, it's almost perfect right now. Yeah, the kills they are coming through a little bit with these sheriffs for the side of the blue gang. But yeah, the reads, as long as the Kizzy swarm grenades are very good, I think that is a rock solid round there for Kusivacho, who have now uh, reached double digits for themselves. So I think a pretty good yeah, morale booster for them. Right. I know. <laughs> I think Kusivacho. <laughs> I think Kusivacho showed quite a bit of potential even in the previous match, but yeah, just. Some timings there, Emperor getting quite good timings at the very end. I think those were kind of the rounds that slipped away for Kursivaccio. But yeah, they already have been playing this lower bracket for quite some time. We cannot underestimate there. them. I think the experience plays quite a bit of a role. And yeah, we can Go see to target right target start. Consume it. Definitely. And the little one, as I, said, I think one major factor in this is also Emperor good luck. If he's lucky, he's gonna get to take them your head. If he's not, then it looks like they're going on a six. But with a 6-10 six, six score, it's not that 
it's not that big bomb buddy yeah. double game to make another like, to come back here honey but you just get this map out of charges about with course you had to playing this good i think it's amazing reads it's difficult yeah but i think the wrong read here right now we can see Ooh, but a pretty strong lane still there from Dexter gets the kill. Although, although we can see Chamber all the way inside, we, Dexter is still hanging out on lane. But yeah, like he gets better off Dexter. Ooh, Dexter was uh, hanging a little too much on lane. But King Luza coming in. Spike the killer, down. B. One enemy Trying remaining. To his back in, gets his back away from these One enemy remaining. Oh, ooh, what a shot from Mr. Right now. Uh, 1v1 there, ooh, and he knows the location okay. right now. Pyro as well, in, with full health, missed right now, not much. 78 30 there. seconds the left. Is in sight of Pyro, but ooh. Sam almost coming in, and yeah, the Sam got win, but what a play there. A very nice try there from out. Mr. Right now. A bit of confusion caused by Dexter's position there. The chamber wrapped all around from CT, got inside, but Dexter was Can still there this? in Thanks. lane, but yeah, not a nuisance for them, because yeah, they get the round win. Yeah, with the way in the direction this whole match is heading, I think this might, map might go just a little bit too much, especially with Placing um, Double grenade. Gang not winning even Placing one grenade. round here in the second half. So unless they have something up their sleeves, unless they can get one, two rounds of more, you can see the ult popped in from Mr. Right now. Desperately trying to get the chamber in the at every corner. Ooh, but he missed the corner behind Jen right now. Ooh, I think desperate prayer here through the astral wall. But yeah, Alpha gets the kill on Pyro. An advantage here for the attackers, although Alpha is very low on ult. But they have the A side already. Usually playing on the boxes near heaven closed by the astral wall but the astral wall is about to come down i suppose not a good spike plan has two more ults there the chamber ult as well as the omen ult not the invested most probably because it's not too much of a dire situation for pussy vachu but ooh nice utility usage right now gets the kill on Chisato. zodek coming in but daiki gets the kill on dexter of four people here zodek getting the so we're getting the kill here we might just get another kill here, but yeah, we can see this line is And yeah, Emperor cleaning up one ZD and another round here for the side of the game. Yeah, first round in their second half here at the moment. We saw some amazing utility usage by W Gang there, like using KO Molly and the shock dart of Sova really well to get that kill on Omen. So oh, okay. well done for them. But will they be able to keep it up? Yeah, I really enjoyed how Mr. Right now was hopping around side desperately yeah. trying to get the chamber and yeah, instead wasted her all. But nonetheless created enough space for them to get the side comfortably, not lose too many players. Yeah, just to keep the economic balance alive. And now with King Luja stopping and advance early into the match with his ult here, we have... Um, be push, but they might just rotate because of this of James' Here. ult. But yeah, I think there was a bit of an error from the side of Emperor because as soon as he threw the knife there, it was supposed to hit the player peeking B main, uh, which was Luza with his ult, disabling yeah. his store de force. But I think that knife missed it a little late getting that trade. And yeah. A nice flick there on Rize Luza getting the first two kills here, a 3v5. Just another Sova ult in Emperor clawing slowly back towards card and maybe make some noise here. But yeah, the KJ and we can see the Ray's position very securely towards Garden. But the bomb being stuck at B main. I don't know if these guys are trying to create a bit more space. Yeah, pulling two more players from B. We can see Mr. Luza going in with his ult. Yeah, but yeah, just a bit of distraction, I suppose, at A. Three players holding A, and yeah, we can see a small rotation from Omen. Yeah, but Dexter, not on lane, gets two kills comfortably, and yeah, Emperor gets one more kill. Gets his health chip down to 52, but yeah, nice wall bang there from Luza. Securing match point for Kursi Vachio. These guys aren't match going down to fight, I'm sure. Yeah, uh, but with a match point and... An increasing amount of stress on W Gang. If they lose this round, they are going to be. That's a good this spot. game is going to go into its third map, and yeah, and if they, and we'll just have to see among these two teams which ones will be the one to advance forward.
Tara, Ailey is to hear that. Double gang might not have that much of a chance, especially with a. You want to play? Let's play. Yeah, and with that economic advantage, even though Rize popping his all out, I see a way bigger advantage here, especially since it's defense and that Killjoy being ready and a sight. Three people here, the read not so quite perfect, but yeah, late rotations being done quite a bit from the side of Double Gang. Who knows, they might end up on those swarm grenades one, uh, once again. But yeah, another mid control here and not giving even a peek there at mid, mid playing really passively there on A side as well. And really back on B side, we can see, yeah, okay. they have a pretty good pacing of the game. And ooh, the paint shell coming in, giving quite a bit of damage. King Loser trading Mr. Right now. Looks like the end for W Gang for the second map. Byro getting the kill on Emperor. Chisato getting the kill there. on Daiki. And yeah, I think it's over now, Beam, right? Uh, and that seems to be the position, but not so fast. One enemy remaining. Says, <laughs> Dexter coming in for the save. It's a 1v3. Standing with ahead. Alpha in very, very low health. Seems a bit like Lost. 30 run, seconds left. If he does manage to get this. Then it's lost, there is a chance, I suppose, to be wrong. <laughs> and he doesn't prove me wrong. Yeah, almost, almost, but a nice try there. Yeah, almost. But, but did you notice the tactic that these guys had? Oh. Last oh. player standing. None of the uh, in none of the utility that uh, double gang to the KO knife as I well as the recon dart really, yeah, yeah. Uh, really were scanning Smells those like players victory. there because they were so deep down on CT towards their spawn playing very passively gave no info and even with that split there if after Rize got that amazing headshot with his Tour de France Tour de Force on the Omen yeah he did not expect someone to be there at CT because they expected everyone to be at A but nonetheless a very Amazing game there from the side of Kursivati. We have seen the potential on the lower bracket, hence they are surviving. And yeah, we can see how well they do in pressure situations. Luza standing out here, 27 kills. Almost getting 10 kills ahead of the second factor, which from his team, again, Dexter with 18 kills. And yeah, the economy rating is just through the roof for Luza. And yeah, what do you think was the main separating point from map one for Kursivati? In this I think in here, like, uh, as you said, Kursi Pacha played very passively coming into the second mm -hmm. half. And that was something that W Gang did not anticipate. Especially, like, first map, ma, they were not playing this passive. So, like, uh, but they would expect the same. But um, ita, there was something different that Kursi Pacha did that W Gang was just not able to get in the tune, you know. You know, in the first half, ma, it was going good. It was There was a 6-6. Score and it was a very pretty balanced out there coming in into the second half. Kursi Vacha just did not give Double Gang any chance to read them or their movements or do anything that counteracts them. I know, I know, and uh, the passive play I think got into the minds of Double Gang. They were desperate to get picks at the very beginning because I think, yeah, their uh, comp was more designed to get more info, getting trades well, the KO, trying to counter Luza as well, but I think it did not work. Luza was one step ahead, playing a little bit passive, but making sure that he gets the frag to lead his team off to the victory. And yeah, moving on, we will be going to another map, the final third map, which will be coming in shortly. We will be taking a short break just so that the players get refreshed. Make sure you guys get your food, your snacks ready because we are in for a treat the final map for this lower bracket round six here the team is eliminated the other team moves forward in the lower bracket so yeah make sure you cheer for the teams that you are supporting in the comment section here make sure you follow us on instagram so that you get to take part in our amazing giveaways as well as make sure uh that yeah you share this with a friend and make sure that we have a fun time tonight guys so just stay tuned and just come back for our second uh third map here between kursi Bacho and w gang hope you have a good time so i'll see you in around five to ten minutes
तो हाय गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द थर्ड मैच बिटवीन डब्ल्यू गैंग एंड कुर्सी बाचो हियर इन द मैप बाइंड सो आफ्टर अ वेरी एक्साइटिंग टू मैचेस इन असेंट एंड हेवन वी हैव हियर द थर्ड मैप ऑफ द डिसाइडिंग मैप ऑफ द मैच बिटवीन डब्ल्यू गैंग एंड कुर्सी बाचो सो बोथ टीम्स प्लेड फॉर नॉमिनली इन द फर्स्ट टू मैप्स सो we had double gang getting the lead on the first map and kursi bhatra taking the lead on the second map which was ascent so up on now we are here at the third map bind let's see what they can i am veeb everybody hi and i am here with me my co-caster vanch hello everybody welcome back and what an amazing game we had just witnessed we in the first map on haven we saw w gang taking it away on the very first map but then again a solid defensive map there on ascent for kursi vachu which led to this the fur final match and if you see the comp there emperor not messing around now he was playing the initiator initially had a kg on heaven but now he is there with his crisp aim ready to battle out on sage we have rize the duelist who was fragging Choose out your on agent. the phoenix on the arena we have mr right now playing his usual the playing the controller and yeah we have nigo right now instead of the he so yeah he is on the chamber and alpha the initiator as well for the side of the attackers here on kursi vacho dexter now opting for the controller zodi is now the initiator we have a raise pick there from the side of attackers which is pretty um common i suppose but then again we don't have that on the defending so they might have something different uh, like a last minute yorker just throw them off but nonetheless we have luza there fragging out the top fragger last 20 107 kills in the last map getting back on the chamber and we have pyro normally playing the controller but now on a viper so a double controller there for the attacking side just one single initiator here a double duelist comp for the sides of w gang and yeah this is not a not a common comp for both sides i suppose we normally play a double initiator and we normally play a raise here so yeah let's see what both teams have and what's your pick right like, for this map uh, i don't say anything whatever i say <laughs> the exact opposite is going to be has is going to be taking effect and that will lead me to being me to be accused of bias there so all i'm going to say is this is going to be the deciding map for both the teams uh, on who is going to move forward in this series i think both teams are very strong showing ekdam a good um, um power s a good fire power here in ascent and haven there now this is bind so uh, let's see what they can do yeah, yeah with those teleports and moving <laughs> area I, I can see quite a bit of firepower here from the side of W Gang, I suppose. So, yeah, W Gang, they showed us on here how well they are, and especially with the double deal of comp here, I, I, we can see quite a bit of exciting uh, comps and pulls. But yeah, you can see it's a lead forward game game here. We start with the kill down to 25 HP. Zuri with the first kill on the map. Getting this right now, planted. but Alpha training back on Dexter. Chuck that. A four v four with almost two full health points, but Ooh Rizzy getting the kill on Kiruza. A flank coming in. Oh, getting the kill charges. there on Chisato was pretty low. Last player standing. One yeah. enemy yeah. remaining. A one v one here. Ooh. Just the pyro screen. is about to play. Pyro of three health. An Emperor. Gladly takes advantage of that, getting his team the first round for map buy. Nice shot from Emperor. A pretty balanced effort there from the team. Two kills from Emperor. Rest of them out for Lizzie and Nico getting over. one kill. So cute. And yeah, Zodi again two so kills. Cute? Pyro getting two kills here, but not much of a support from Musa, Dexter, and Chisato. Chisato getting chipped away by those short guards, and yeah, first round there for defense. We can see now finally we can see W Gang getting a win at the very beginning of the map. Normally in the past two maps we saw mm, we saw Kursi Bacio trying to get the lead at the very beginning, getting two rounds, but yeah, it was brought right back in. So let's see different pace change, a different comp. Let's see how it goes. Standing ahead. Out. So basically, what uh, you're trying to say is it's not going to be consistent here in this. match between Kursi Bacha and W Gang it hasn't for a while and it looks like that's going to be the best more now so we have a pretty aggressive A push by There. Kursi Bacha and Yam and we're going to be able to get the bomb so right now getting now that skin kill on King Luja and There. we have a 4v2 at the current moment honestly a buy from the side 
of Kursi Bajja here on attacking even though they lost that round getting two, one kill there but not much there so it's pretty risky for them to one enemy remaining there, but yeah Queen of crew coming in at the very end Emperor and Nico getting the end and they are 2 nil. and now the economy will not be looking that pretty for the side of Kursi Bajja right they here. generally would have a buy at this time they were saving the second round but yeah Emperor out with the AWP already half shield in we still have two Spectres saved up from the previous round we have a Vandal ready there on Rize and yeah looks like almost a solid win for W Gang here on the third round but yeah we have three Sheriffs so let's see you can see some crisp one taps there from either Zodi, Chisato, Dexter, Luza or Pyro mm, definitely so this time instead of opting to go for one <laughs> Split push here. Uh, we have Zodi trying to get a kill on Jet. And Stay Dodger down. Is it Alpha getting the kill on Gun Pyro here. instead and having the spike now. Yeah, I think the spike being taken away from them at the very beginning is very hard, especially when they get it on board. They do have info that they have two specters that were saved from the previous round. But it's still hard and yeah. Really come along, has the kill. Ooh! Luza getting the kill on Mish right now. A Spectre upgrade for him. Not much that can help in this situation, but if you see on the health bar, the jet is pretty low on defense. So that could be a change. Uh, game changer here right now. We'll see. But ooh, a push up from Rive gets the kill on Dexter, and it's a 4v2 now. And just look at all the effort that they need to do. They just get that ball out of the hands of the defenders, and yeah. Really with the defense having an off so early into the match, it makes it even more difficult for Kursi Bhatt to do anything in this situation right now. But it looks thing. like they're going to be last player standing. These are all very unlucky. 30 seconds left. On, but yeah, we get that kill in. Coming in. But yeah, on the reboot, Alpha gets the kill and. I think the best they could have hoped for was a bomb plan and that is what they got, so nonetheless, yeah. pretty good At round they up. managed to get two people down there, even with the gun disadvantage that they have in the current scenario. But now, at least right now, they will have enough strength to possibly buy themselves a full armory here, and that is what they're gonna do. Instead, uh, we do see Alpha with still the Spectre on, and Mr. right now probably going for the Vandal pretty soon. Yeah, I think they might have an upgrade right now. Luza most probably going... No, no, he has that op now. Uh, so an op, the op Emperor right with that op right now. But yeah, Spectre on Alpha, so might be playing some close angles. The op going for an aggro peak here from... Not get anyone get spammed instead. And ooh, barely dodges. There. The boom bot just gets out of there from the skin of his teeth. And yeah, Rize playing a very odd angle, which not many players check. So yeah, if you can see the mini map here, the bomb is moving close towards A short now. So it could be like a showers control push, maybe plant default or towards showers. And yeah, avoiding the op completely, which is still there at B main. Yeah, Dexter being very cautious <laughs> going into showers, but the region is waiting there very patiently. We do have Alpha coming in for quick distraction, but Dexter is still going to be very cautious and play very cautiously there. Mr. right now going in for a spam, but does not manage to catch anyone. Reason has... Wait, to the last end to get a kill on Dexter. In the in that moment, Alpha also spike. gets killed, but the situation is narrowed down to a four v three currently. So the defense still is has an advantage. Yeah, really just <laughs> beated Alpha very bad. That man, what a shot from Thirty Emperor. seconds left. One <laughs> enemy remaining. Five down. Fire and they know the location here. The teleport being used there from Rize and Ooh, so he still gets the kill here. 3v1 here, he still knows that the player jumped in, he knows where they are, but yeah, nothing he can do through that smoke, spam Ten coming seconds in slowly left. from Emperor, but yeah, very nice round there, W Gang getting a healthy lead of 4 rounds to 0 rounds there from Kursi Bacho, and yeah, this looks way more comfortable for them now. Definitely, Binds does seem to be the map of W Gang here, they're very playing very cautiously, confidently, and also utilizing their util in a way that gets them around very easily here with Kursi Vachyo. But I would really like to see Kursi Vachyo on defense again, especially here. when they have that Viper wall. Uh, they've shown us that they're pretty solid on defense in all the maps, so 
if they manage to get enough rounds there they are. attack pretty sure we're gonna see some amazing things from them in I agree and especially with the level control setup on on by I think these are pretty long down five there and ooh Chisato with the shotgun on him would not get the kill on him right now gets the kill on Chisato Alpha gets the kill on Pyro as well and yeah not much help there on the feed there on attack and just looks like another 5-0 lead here for the Captain killed of W Gang. Yeah, definitely. Especially now with Fade on very low health and a 2v5. This seems like a lost cause for the here in Yeah, and I think the round, I think that Spike would have been better off. Now they are in such a situation in which they either have to buy and win that round or even if they lose they have to force at least either have to force and keep on forcing or they have to go for such a save which guarantees that they lose their round because yeah, in a map definitely. such as bind which is so big you can't really win a lot of match uh, 1v1 especially when you have classics and sheriffs might be an advantage but yeah I don't think it's gonna give them that big of an advantage. Yeah, definitely. Once again, this seems to be a pretty standard issue by Chris and here, but in attacking side, they haven't been able to do much anything, especially with a 5 score uh, difference between them and W Gang here. It's getting increasingly difficult. They need to get some rounds here in the Face yeah, your fear! Spike down A. Yeah, and I think going you know, on the you guys have, um, like, I think it's a really favorite if they play an attacking side, but they're doing really well on defense. And I think since uh, to see back to know that they are stronger on defense, I think they will be, uh, they selected a comp which is more defense friendly, so yeah, let's see what happens. But nonetheless, with an attacking comp and a jet, I think they are playing <laughs> Teleports ready. He's just taking over with that Reina and now with that Reina, a nice flick there from the side of Nico getting the better of Chisato and yeah, Pyro's all now looks like a wasted boss. Yeah, definitely, especially when you want me for the situation. Not much Pyro can do in, um, but to go for frags, he does not even have the spike. He does not have the spike. I think when she's 30 seconds left. Guarded. But 30 seconds on the clock, Closing off the round, we have a six point lead of Double Gang on Kusi Macho. The scores are 6 0 at the moment. Ani, it's gonna be increasingly difficult of a, for <clears throat> a Double Gang, I mean, for Kusi Macho to make a comeback here. But they do need many rounds here in attack to make an impact on defense, which is supposed to be their strong suit. So, I mean, they need to do something here. Well, would have uh, maybe a tactical timeout maybe would have helped that if they think they're doing just fine going on that also probably you want to play in. let's right play now, i think they seem to know that a straightforward push to one side is not going to make it here so are you going to go for a dub it's a going for a split push with on the hands of fade here by you're getting the first one of this right now but nico stopping luja right on his tracks there for a Tara. Yeah, Fire getting a second kill on Nico and Zodi taking down Alpha, narrowing the narrowing it down to two one enemy remaining. Yeah. And Fire with his third kill on Rize, giving his team a head start here. A very big man advantage. Spike planted. A 1v4 currently here. Ani Ema. Possible. The spike has been planted and the attackers are on pretty comfortable Four position four. here. Like position wise, Ani was here doing whatever they can to stop Emperor. Oh. I mean, Emperor is the only one remaining. I mean, they are also pushing on him. So he needs to take at least three down to like oh, have a chance off. at this. He seems to know that Pyro is coming in for a flank but looks away. Uh, oh. This is the shot on Dexter and we have Dexter with the kill. And yeah, the first round to Kursi Pachu here in that bind. 
So at least they did one thing correct in playing split and going for frags instead of just aiming to get that spike plan down them. So a good initiative on their behalf. And the first round, I hope first round of many rounds here. Uh, a balanced the a balanced match is what makes the match fun. And Aile Bunny is very exciting, so Aile, let's I hope we get to see more things happening again. So the action starts pretty early here in Hika, uh, which is not to make his way down. But spotting Rize, but Rize does manage to get that kill on Chisato, but gets traded out by Fire. We do have Emperor with his up and oh, one no. down. Dexter gets caught right as he was putting his smokes down. Yeah. 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 And that's what they want to do for like for like you know. You always have to just stand still and it's like something Astro would do. So with a seven uh, with a six point lead here, we have double again sitting very comfortable in uh, their positions <laughs> right now what is dexter doing indeed bro what is dexter <laughs> actually doing very difficult to say dexter continuously well anyways the score is 7-1 currently with w gang in a very comfortable lead here and a kursi need to really step up here Aile, to make an impact going into defense <laughs> We see a bit of trolling and some fun trash talk there on the side, but nonetheless, a very nice round there from the side of Emperor getting that on the defense side with that orb and yeah, I mean, with the there, there as well. In the same round, nothing much that they can do. I do think that getting the same round early, especially in this fashion, is going to help them out mentally a lot uh, on the defensive but side. Or... Definitely. Yeah, but we really would not want to see like a 6 <laughs> Uh, uh, kind Spike of down, impossible beat. right now with a 7 1 score. Uh, but give on it, right? About it. Maybe they have a chance. But the Brim yeah, all stopped them on their tracks and with very low Last player on standing. Both the players. Again, this round seems like a lost cause. Yeah, Luza running away with that teleport I'm to just far. be able to get that plant. And I think I have them. Uh, the round in which they had to force by the second round as well. I think ooh, what a repair with that all okay. and yeah, not even the bomb plant out that is on the Luza also trying to get the best for his teammates, but yeah, eight rounds on the board, and I think yeah, the mental game is pretty much on the side for W Gang, and uh, especially after that the bonus round that they had in which they forced Does the Spectres and they lost by putting smokes there on A. I think spot. that was kind of like a wrong decision that they regret yeah. right now because the economy has never been on the favor for Kursi Pacheo. Like they have been moving along, trying to shuffle weapons here and there, saving in order to get a buy in the next round, and then losing that round as well. And which is just not enough and especially with just that one round they did not even get uh, I would say a perfect ahead. Uh, economy with that win bonus and yeah they just get dropped over and over again and definitely here I think especially with the 7 point lead like Kursi is at a huge disadvantage but the best part about save round is to see some pretty spectacular sheriff shots but another alpha round right now getting the two kills headshots on the people rushing shower and yeah around nine rounds in but ooh Luza getting the kill on alpha really good with that headhunter but will it be enough they have an alt on brimstone so if they kill if they get the plan down they might have like a lineup for it but yeah, Dexter, not sure if Rize pushed in or not. And Luza still holding showers. There are some weapons there on showers. There is some vandals, I suppose. One dropped by uh, Rize. Eh, not Rize. I think it was... One enemy remaining. Yeah, Spike down up. A. With that op. He's really good with that op on close range, especially. That's a kind of... Luza with, with the one tap 30 right seconds now. left. Get the AWP in hand, a 2v1, quite doable with that AWP, to be honest with you. Yeah, especially with a full health, it might just be doable. Uh, on his tracks uh, and I'm hunts down hungry. Luza, getting a ninth round for W Gang here. These a very interesting, okay, but, but also, also one-sided contest going on here. I, I really used to like the 
angles that Emperor used to hold, especially on Haven. Okay. And, although he didn't get those timings, there were some holes that he had, especially on the market. Stairs there, there at B side, that those are really odd angles that you would not expect if you're pushing a smoke or some sort. And I think he's using those angles right now to play in that fashion with an op. So I think that is something that is a key differentiator right now. We have to all spare knives out on Emperor as well as out on the Reina already. We have the Viper split on fire ready. Let's see if he can use it to as well as a fade out for entry. And then the Ooh, and this is nice completely, but dashing in right away. And we have a player disconnected right now, but so does kill on Nico Emperor. Gets on down, fire, but getting a 3k in Alpha, getting the trade on Chisato, and we have a 3v. Shot down. Turn to Last a player gets standing. Scanned. Zodi on for the ace, gets the 4k on Alpha, and yeah, I think it's a Face your fear! Right now. They will be getting uh, that plant right now. Sort of an alt wasted. <laughs> Maybe the players spike. didn't see the sign of, you know, Mr. Right Now has disconnected. Maybe they didn't see that because they seem pretty confused about what yeah. to do at this moment. I, think I mean, it's alt... pretty clear. It's pretty clear. They just plant and just waited out. Yeah, they did but... use the, the fades. Um ability to scan out alpha kind on the side but yeah i think the ult was there just for the panic because these guys need to scrap as many rounds as possible and yeah if you see the scorecard right now which right now is actually offline so up round here nine two for the side of Kursi Vachyo. I think they might go for a 9-3, hoping for a 9-3 curse. I think that is their best bet right now. But yeah, nonetheless, 9-3 for the side of Kursi Vachyo with Luza getting some heroics. But yeah, Zuri with that 4k. He might just go for that ace, but I don't think he has any clue where he is. And he has reconnected right now, so we might, we might see a retake right now. But yeah, not enough Yeah, time there's that. no time. There's not much he can do there. But, but very none... interesting how concentrated the players are that they don't even see like you know just the tidbits of the notifications that just messages that are... last round before yeah, the but, switch uh, regardless of that afk i would not uh, like remove any credit for zodi because those 4k okay. especially on that long push was just am uh, amazing and yeah we see a timeout there from the defenders w gang taking their first timeout in one minute to, I guess, kind of shift the momentum away from Kursi Bacho after the win that they got. They have three ults on board, so they might try to break that momentum with this timeout. But yeah, I think it's best if they get double digits right away because it's going to be so much easier when they are attacking, especially with a double duelist comp. Yeah, especially with also a 9-3 curse looming over their heads. <laughs> that's also increased stress. Oh, uh, well, it doesn't work all the times, but you know, that's yeah, that curse is I, I think I think that curse went away after the first half of 2022 because I don't uh -huh. seem to get that curse anymore. <laughs> when it's 9-3, yeah, I normally use lose 13-3. So yeah, I don't think that's a possibility. But nonetheless, I would like to take this time out just to remind you guys to share the stream with your friends. Make sure that they see this amazing best of three match, which is the third map right now. So the winner moves on in the lower bracket where the loser is out from the tournament. So make sure you share this. Make sure you take part in our giveaways on Instagram. And yeah, we're back here with the 12th round. So do you think Kursi Bacho is going to get this third round for them securing a 9-3 moving on to defense? The team equipment. has already been in the lower bracket for Thanks. some time and especially being very comfortable with the comp with the double controller. You want to I play? Let's play. I think that's what they had in mind moving in. Like these guys will be dominating on defense. So I'm not counting them out to be honest. But yeah, if you see the momentum right Where now, the duelist doing so well oh. on defense. Air that for I hell think fire. the ball is on the board of the gang. And yeah, just like that, he gets the kill on Chisato and gets another kill on Dexter. And yeah, Luza all the fading Emperor right now gets the ult down. 4v3, the ult do yeah. quite a bit of damage there on Luzay who is in. Yeah, and yeah, I think with this ult there is a possibility right now. But Definitely. Ooh. Even with Brimstone being very low health, it is increasingly difficult for the defenders at the moment. Especially now with a possible B plant. Yeah, it's a two They found my trap. Spike planted. Yeah, Nico so, played that very well, but just missed that shot when it mattered the most and gets dabbed right away. And yeah, we one are enemy remaining. on a very low miss right now and a 3v1. So yeah, we can see a 9-3 moving into the second half of the map. They know the info with that dart coming in. And yeah, Io playing from the Angle. And he's a good 
here, but yeah, I will get the kill. So yeah, a 90 just as predicted. Moving on to the second half. Switching sides. And we do know that Kursi Bhansha is their like off the bone situation is the defense. They do the best at defense. So about will they be able to like get rounds on Ipachi, get going further, or will they lose with a huge margin to double game? Yeah, there Very is a wall that you can directly use to block off Hookah as well as Long from A side, which can be controlled very well by the Viper. And as well, having that Brimstone with those three smokes at A side, I think that is a tactic that these guys might be going for. And if they do so, I think it's pretty hard, especially to get the pistol around win. And then again, we can see that snowball effect in which they win the pistol, then they win the bonus, then they win another bonus, and then they win the buy round. So I think that is what these guys are aiming for. And with Chisato and the feet being the same side, we might see some fade raise combo, we'll see. Oh, now, what do we see Double Gang doing is going for a very push here at A. And here. most of the Chisato is also making their way into A side. Let's see what they can do in this situation. Yeah, Rizzi playing it very slowly at showers that he i still he i don't think he has info that pyro is there tucked under haven at a but yeah then again they are rotating back for this a push oh. and Rizzi, game is super crisp. gets that kill gets that heal in and it's just like nothing happens to him. but yeah zodi gets the treat on nico pretty low with that frenzy gets the kill on zodi but yeah just after with that kill gets the kill on him hey. as well the duel is down is coming in underhand Bomb there, not getting all the damage there on Mr. Right now. He gets killed there, and yeah, I think it looks like a round oh, here. Like butter, baby. For Kursi right now, but Enemy there's an yeah, we did not like, oh, too soon to say anything. Ooh, but the hell Now it's the here. 1v1. Now this is interesting. Will yeah. Dexter or Mr. Nevermind Dexter? I think that was a up. nice read there from Dexter. He knew that there yeah, was time, definitely. he knew that the player was low, so instead of going for that tap, Cool. Making sure that all his corners are here and the kills. But a pretty nice round considering the fact that they got they didn't get the first kill and yeah, just like I said, the defensive round for the side of Kushi Vatio and let's see if they can mount on to this win on the pistol. Yeah. We don't know if they will be able to get more rounds or if they will just alter back again. But this defense is their strong point. So Abba Kusi Batra is gonna somebody now or like W Gang Ricky or so Abba. They know they're going to be so a change of pace for W Gang. So Abba, let's see. Yeah, and especially with the Viper's wall that is being used right now, you can see it's blocking off towers as well as A short quite a bit. And you can see they have the brimstone with his mollies as well as the poison orb that can be taken away. But ooh, we see a buy here from the side of W Gang gets one kill trade off, but yeah, Zodi Gang trade off Alpha and Luza getting the kill and Zodi and Luza clean it up on the B side and looks like it's the tables have turned right now. The bonus round is coming in from the side of Pussy Vacho, whereas the force buy not coming in from the side of W Gang, which can possibly lead to a like so much effect and possibly a 9 9. Yeah, well, W Gang made the same mistake that Pussy Vacho did while they were in attack, buying in the second round and not winning that round, giving the other team an advantage in economy. So the same thing W Gang did. Abba now, will they suffer the same? consequences or of a finally they might come back. we don't know for sure I know and I think now this is perfectly like uh, the way that this the past two matches have gone up like they have been winning the pistols quite frequently Kursi Faccio have done it before but yeah then again the rounds just keep coming it's either 2-0 and then 2-2 so we have been seeing W Gang getting those rounds back from the bonus from a buy and getting those rounds making sure that the score is equalized so let's see if we can capitalize on this but yeah my my pick is Kursi Faccio have a really good comp on defense just look at the vipers poison orbs the wall that he has the retake potential that they have with the brimstone as well as the playmaking that they have with the rays on chisoto sato as well as the fate so i think that is kind of like the secret recipe that they were going for as intended they may not have expected this big of a lead to be taken from the blue gang but yeah i can see the problem uh, slowly, but, another Fire kill there on Emperor. 
Ember is just pressing down. Two kills with the Shredder, remaining. gets the kill there with the Spectre, gets another kill with the Bulldog, and yeah, knows is where the last player is. Ace? And I don't think his teammates are gonna let him get his ace though right now. <laughs> Let's see, but an amazing round there with with most probably need to double digits here for W Gang, but ooh, another Tenable's heartbreaking. Ready. I would say not defeat but around spent here. Yeah, and we go finally cleaning up loser. And this is what I said, like these guys, even though they win the pistol, they win the small half fight that they get right after the pistol. W gang just seem to come up with one strat or a play right there that turns That's the tide over. Point. And that is how the morale I think could not be like revived in the first match. They did manage to do it in the second match, but yeah, it might be hard to do it the third time. I think it's the huge score gap they created in the first half mm. that helps them, you know, um, get a better confidence, get, get yeah, exactly. con more confident in the second half. Pyro was so I, busy. Yeah, yeah. Spyro was so busy destroying that dart that Emperor just walked up to him near Lambs and got that kill. Went in, got another kill with the Sheriff, got the Spectre, get a, got a kill, created to the Bulldog, got another kill, spammed the kill. And I, think, I don't think you like these kind of stuff. I don't think these things are intended to happen. But yeah, this just happened with such good players there on the side of Double Gang. Mm, especially with the push. Oh, we just have to see what Double Gang has up on this team. We have Here. them playing very cautiously, but with the Viper utility, it's very difficult for them to get into sight. Ooh, and the Brimstone as well on B, I would say it's a perfectly good read there. They even got the kill out on showers but yeah a showers push right now alpha might be hanging out no he's going in Ooh, and the smoke comes out just on time and they might see a late lurk from the side of nico but we can see pyro holding in and ooh, what a push from chisato pushing in from short they will have no idea about this and oh nico giving a footstep away not get the kill in get spammed out 30 hp a battle going on on b here right now but just look at the push that they have on showers man <laughs> they thought that a would be full of kill yeah. spike down a, a. on zodi a 3v3 here is still hunting for Nico right now on b side and yeah um, yeah, this is very interesting chase oh, happening oh, over oh, oh, now. Uh, Looks like all the double gang is also making it clear. Oh. Last player standing. But what a position there from Breezy hiding in the teleporter. Gets two kills here and off of a 3v3 to a 3v1 man. Fire trying his best to get those oh, kills here, but yeah, too much utility. Although all three players are pretty low, so if they give one-on-ones, it's very doable. Pyro does not have any poisons on him. He might just get a 1v1 if he wants, but the crossfire is very strong. But yeah, I don't die so what a play from his side. Getting the kills off, dismissing at the very right time, hiding the teleporter, getting two kills, and yeah. I think that is a heartbreak loss there, a heartbreak round for the side of Lucy Vachia. Especially so close into match point here, we see it's getting increasingly difficult for Kursi Vacho. Maybe, yeah, that's what I said. Like, W Gang maybe needs just a halka more, like, score gap between their opponents to feel more confident. Yeah. Like, the second map, what we saw was the scores, scores are pretty balanced, so that's why maybe they're not confident enough to play fully up to their capacities. Yeah, I mean, see them and getting, um, like, uh, Where are you? Yeah, and, and like I said, even though the defensive side is pretty strong, but W Gang's side is really where Bomb was made for offense. Like, that double duelist push is just too hard to play right Fight now. And even though I would be supporting Kursi Vacho with this bomb, I think the way these guys played on was such a big round, and yeah, Dexter, I can do that is just Teleport's a ready. little hard sight to see if you're a fan. All the three doable from the side off. Ooh, and Chicago with that out there, but Nico Last player kill standing. on Yuga and Pyro getting the best of your feet. And they know his location. Almost around, but I don't think there is enough time here for him to put it up. Back on the wall bang there from the side of Alpha the and area. almost Clutch. done right now, but oh, oh my god. So close, man. Missed it by a Match hair's point. length, like exactly 0 0.37 seconds. That was so sad to watch one shot, I swear to god.
Yeah. And a technical timeout from the side of W Gang right now. And yeah, I think we can see Mr. Right now going AFK as well. So yeah, five minute tech timeout most probably. But wow, another hard break round. And I think just when they're about to reach, just about when they're going to get that win. Yeah, somehow some miracle is there for W Gang, especially the push there from their jet earlier in this half as well as the round saving play there from Rizzi and now with that wall bang from Alpha I think these are something you can't script you can't write you can honestly think in your head that it's gonna happen but yeah they just happen at a match point round already like, yeah, for the, the side of the blue gang looks super bleak for match point gives you so much stress like match point there's no going back to make any any mistakes in match going so exactly. it's a very stressful situation Ani, do Especially you think able to come back uh, I honestly doubt it because this isn't a game in which it's defense versus offense and offense versus defense when the half change it's more like this match was like it's always a defense map playing defense while they are attacking and it's always an attacking map playing attacking while they were in defense and it was just like who played it better and I think with such form on that jet on Reina, they were able to do so well when they were in offense uh, on the defense I think we can expect way more on attack and we are seeing that especially from BZ on that Reina and yeah we can see they are ready right now and yeah we can see this right now coming in to the server he was AFK for a while hence the tech pause and yeah five seconds to go could be the final round of the match let's see if it gets a bit more exciting but nonetheless match point for w gang you want to play let's play difficult nonetheless now on moving on to we have w gang emperor of fire which is the order the guild by pyro and mr right now with another trade yet again Making the situation in the at the moment. One Person enemy remaining. Very low Spike health. down A. Wow. What else to say but wow? Here we have situation. We have the only player remaining. Maybe the are not giving up just yet. Yeah. I think it's I mean, maybe w. they have still more fire in them. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> we got a nice kill. A yeah. very rare sight. Whatever happens for tournaments, happening. but don't it's panic. Funny. Trembling Should I say funny? Is aim. funny the correct word? I have no idea. It's funny when that happens. Yeah. Yeah, very it's like our mod like it as well. But nonetheless, I think that was the only thing that was led. Uh, yeah. <laughs> left in this match but yeah we get the knife kill as well a very good round there from the side of uh i don't think it it might be enough it might not be most probably it isn't but yeah they get that round in 12 six six more rounds it has point. We have enough cash for for the off ever the first kill coming in for kushi and the ult still stare strong. Pyro not taking any damage right now. And uh, this is going to be a tough round, honestly. Because look at Luja with his sword of force in already pushed up long, giving all the information that they need. But there is Nico lurking very slowly. And Puka might, mm, be, might be caught off guard. But it looks more like an A push from showers with the bomb in. So yeah, Nico maybe waiting for a person to rotate back but he has no clue that Mr. Luza is pushed up long not right now and yeah might be scanned here but yeah Mr. Luza still hanging on for B just in case to get that rotation and we might just see a timing there but yeah we see Alpha droning in trying to get the lead in and ooh Luza barely misses him there but yeah Rizzi hitting the kill on Zodi a 4v4 in the ult still there on Right. Ooh, Byro spike getting missed down right now. A. And the spike planter as well. But this 30 seconds left. And ooh, Nico with that late lurk coming in. Gets the better of Pyro. It's a deep three situation. 40 force in for Mr. Ruza, but Chisato goes down. A 3v2 disadvantage. Man, One he's enemy with remaining. With what an angle. Dexter gets. Attackers win. Unexpected, but nonetheless, a win yeah. for W. I think that so, you know, pretty surprising. But what I think, that mm. knife kill was basically compensation. Like, they knew they were going <laughs> to lose the map. 
you know, they were going to lose this match. So basically what they need, they just needed to go out with a bang. So that was their bang. They were just trying to show that they're not um, any less than W Gang here, you know. That was just a yeah. compensation, I think. The night. I think I think we underestimated when we saw the comp that the players from Kursi Vacho had. They had a pretty strong defensive one. But the offense, if you see Rize right there, has 22 kills, 13 this. But Alpha, although he is the initiator, gets 20 kills on the Sova as well. And Emperor as well, 15 kills. Whereas not even one player, although it was a very team balanced effort, Zodi just getting kills at the very end could not get enough, could not get a 20 kill round there. But two players from the side of W Gang getting 20 kills is, uh, I would say that is something that is going to seal the game there in itself. And yeah, mm. with a, such a strong comp for attack and as well getting very, uh, like I would say, a very generous lead for them on defense, I think that was enough to boost them to the top. And just like that, we see W Gang moving on to the lower brackets. And sadly for the guys of uh, Kursi Vaji, I think it's the end of the journey for them. Nonetheless, a very well fought battle for them. The first match wasn't, yeah, wasn't much of a fight there on Haven. They couldn't get to capitalize, but what a hole that they had on the second map of Ascent. They, they, they proved, to be honest, that they were there uh, to compete with the best here in this tournament. But yeah, a 13-6 defeat to them on the hands of W Gang. They get the win here. They get it very comfortably and they are moving on to the next round of the lower bracket. Mm, very exciting matches that both teams have shown us at the moment. Yeah, just Kursi Vacha just could not get it up at the third map. The, uh, the valiant efforts by both teams and mm, Kursi Vacha displayed good performance, as you said. So very nice. Initiative. Yeah, and um, now I think they will be moving on with the last match that we had, uh, the previous match that we had in this day. Power Bottoms defeated Blank 2 0 in very dominant fashion. We'll be meeting uh, W Gang in the lower bracket round seven, whereas we will be having another. Uh, upper bracket matches soon so make sure you guys subscribe to this channel make sure you